Hey guys, so I have a quick video to show you how to record your screen on um, Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, and Android. Um, the two uh, main Windows um, uh, ones that we're going to go through today are Snagit and uh, Screen Rack. But then on iOS, it's built in with uh, iOS 11 and higher. And I'll show you a video of that. And then I'll show you some alternatives that you can use on Android. So let's get started. Um, Snagit and Screen Rec, um, you know, one is free and one is definitely a full featured screen recording um, platform. I personally uh, use Snagit. I'm not entirely biased on it, but um, I've just you know used it for so many so many years, and I, I kind of personally prefer it, but. Uh, uh, if you're looking for a great uh, free alternative to Snagit, Screen Rack is probably number one. Um, it's just super easy and not a lot of complications in the menus. So going over the couple items here, 49 US or about um, 56 uh, Canadian, um, you get private share links with Screen Rack. So for every video, they can automatically upload that video to the cloud and you can get a link to send to your friends or coworkers or colleagues or whatnot. Now that is a bit of a privacy concern considering where they're housing their data. Um, they have the automatic upload of your videos that you record of your screen um, enabled by default. Um, so you might want to turn that off on if you don't want your the screen recordings, let's say you're you're making something for work or you have some sensitive data that you don't want to you know have uploaded to a cloud that may or may not be in your country of residence. Um, just something to be cognizant about. Advanced features, um, you can pretty much do everything in Snagit where screen recorder is very basic. You can screen record, you can pick your microphone that you want to use. You can set regions like how uh, big you want to record the whole screen or just a, a region um, and you can take photos and and whatnot but with Snagit and we'll go through this um, you have full editing uh, kind of like a very light uh, Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator um, um, I work for a team and, and we do a bunch of designing for uh, making mobile um, application software and before we would always use um, Adobe Illustrator, Fireworks, and Photoshop. And quite honestly, we we only use Snagit now. It's just simple enough to do everything we need as mobile web developers to kind of get our job uh, done. Um, HD video, uh, 1080p and higher um, with uh, Snagit. Um, you get HD video with Screen Recorder uh, when you make an account. So in order to flip that switch, you got to make an account. It's a free account. They just want to, you know, track, have that user tracking and be able to say that, hey, we got, you know, 10 million users and we value the company at, you know, what? So it's always good to get user counts up when you when you provide a free software. So it's uh, definitely good to do. Show these guys some love for sure. This is an awesome software. Um, edit video. And what I mean by that, um, can't do transitions and stuff like uh, TechSmith. Snagit, they have a, um, a, a higher end video editor um, called, uh, Kes uh, it starts with a C, but um, I'll put the link for that um, in the description. Um, but what you can do with Snagit is very simple crop or cut. Um, so if you, you can pause the video, cut it out, stitch it. You can't stitch two videos together, but if you're recording in one long session, then you can cut a bunch of stuff. So it's honestly great time saver. Whereas Screen Rec, in order for you to cut, you would have to kind of record the whole thing from scratch um, and just try to get the, that perfect video. Uh, so the GUI overlay, that's just a personal preference of mine. Um, with Screen Rec, you can actually see it here. Um, I don't like having a, a, a GUI that's always on my screen that makes me feel like at any time I could record the screen. It's just a personal preference of mine. With Snagit, you can completely hide it, and the only way to pull it up is hitting the print screen button on your keyboard um, or the equivalent on a uh, Mac keyboard. Um, probably, there are probably print screens on there too. Um, so, so let's get into it. I'm going to go through each one, and for Snagit, 
I'm going, because you can't really record a screen recorder, if that makes sense. So I'm going to use Screen Rec to record Snagit and Snagit to record Screen Rec just so you can guys see the difference in the, the GUIs. So right now, since I am currently recording with Snagit at full 1080p, I'm going to try the screen recorder. I'm not going to do the audio because I don't want any interference with the current video that's being recorded, just to show you what you can do. Um, so let's say you are on a website and this is the, uh, the screen rec website. And for work or personal or whatnot, say you wanted to get this logo and send it to a friend, you can go screen record and hit the um, photo. And Windows, ha Windows 7 and higher has something called the snipping tool. Um, both of these products, Snagit and Screen Rec, both do the snipping, like the photo, but they also do the video, which Windows doesn't have baked in from like a snipping tool. So I'm going to do this. Um, and then it gives me back my um, image. So let's see what we can do here. I can add stuff and can I resize? Bear with me here. This is the first time I've used uh, this. And you can change the color on that. So fairly basic, you know, GUI. Can I delete that? Sure. Arrows. I'm going to say check this one out. Right. And that I paint another. And I'll just put some text here that says. Um, this is great software for free. Let's see if we can move this. That's up there. Kind of hard to move this. Still can't move it. What if I go escape? It's kind of hard to move stuff around, but you get the general idea. You can, you know, it's got some bugs a little bit, but for the most part, if you want to snip, add an arrow for free, this is awesome. So you have this option here, which is download locally or create this uh, share link. And that's the, um, the great feature to have. Just be aware of the maybe privacy concern that it's now on a cloud that you might not be aware that's in the terms and conditions of using the free service. Like all these companies, Facebook, Twitter, you know, it's all free because, you know, they're mining and harvesting your data to sell for trends and marketing and, and advertising and, and, and whatnot. So it's never really free. It's kind of free stuff is you kind of paying with your, um, with your usage or your usage data. So I'm going to go save. So I saved that, um, photo to my desktop and then I could go share or, or send in an email. Let's just take a look at how that looks. Okay, great. It's got the background um, uh, transparent, so that's perfect. Okay, great. So that's the snipping of Screen Rec. So let's try to do a quick video. We're going to click here, and we will do a region. And um, so it says you're probably using a microphone. That's fine. Perfect. So it did work as expected. So um, let's... Oh, it is recording already. Okay, great. So now if I move this page just to see, okay, and then we'll stop the video. Okay, and it kind of looks like if you look at this here, playback rate kind of looks like it's kind of hosted on YouTube. I'm not sure, maybe the same look, look and feel of the GUI, but um, <clears throat> they're probably just using a player, right? Hopefully it doesn't get uploaded at this point. You'd have to get out Wireshark and look at the network traffic or whatnot. So let's just um, play the video. Probably go over here to see where we move the window. So let's go play. Yeah, so I moved the window. Now you can save that. So let's go ahead and save it. So I've uh, gone ahead and saved that and here's the video on um, my desktop. And if I wanted to share that or um, send it, that I could definitely do that. Um, so <clears throat> the options you get with Screen Rec, you see I'm um, logged in. I get no watermark, unlimited. 
uh, video, um, personal and commercial usages, um, allows me to pick my microphone, uh, record in HD, option for recording system audio, what uh, shortcut you want, like Alt-S will pull up and start doing the, the recording or snipping, um, to automate instant share link, and that was my uh, concern I had there where it, that was on by default, um, which every time I'd take a, a, snag, a, snag, a, a snip or a um, video, it would upload that automatically to a server. Um, I'm sure it was in the terms of uh, services of, of using this free application, uh, update app and whatnot. Okay, so at this point, what I'm going to do is, so that's screen rec. I'm going to pause the video and switch over to recording with screen rec, and then we're going to show you snag it. So I'm now recording on screen rec. Um, I I did this video once before, but Screen Rec crashed because um, it was it was complaining about the audio being in use. Um, so definitely, you know, free. Um, you're not going to get a lot of these advanced features and stability. Um, but I'm recording with Screen Rec right now, and if I wanted to take a screen of this with Snagit, I'll hit Print Screen, select it, um, and go Photo which will open um, Snagit right away. Let's just expand this canvas a bit and take the selection and just move this around. So doing the same thing we were doing before, we just point here. Um, now I wanna change this color here. So I wanna grab the same red, keep it all nice. Um, so you gotta pick this first, this guy here, then the color of the line grab from here, there. And we want to add some text. Um, so I'll say, let's go delete text and we'll make dark text. Let's try again. Let's say this is Free, uh, more. Snag it is not free. But, you know, the stuff that you get, like, I won't go, it's not a snag it demonstration video, but, you know, if I wanted to take this and rotate it, like, it's like a, a high functioning, um, you know, fireworks Photoshop or Illustrator. If I like, bring that down and put that here. And then maybe we'll just give a, um, you could do stuff like, if you took a screenshot of let's say, some confidential information you wanted to blur out, um, you could go to blur, um, and then just say, hey, I'm not telling you what this is, but I'm just telling you, well, I mean, you could probably read it, so you could re-blur it and re-blur it there's a little bit better. Um, and they also have um, flattening and ordering. Like if you want to say that this text here, let's just select it here. This text here uh, should be in the background. You could say arrange, send to, uh, to back. So now it's kind of behind, right? Um, and they have cool features like simplify and we'll go next. Um, and you will see when you go simplify here, it will um, take any screenshot you want and give you kind of that, you know, blurred marketing design look and feel that you can drop into um, templates and stuff. So just can we do auto simplify? I'm pretty sure it's because it's not flattened. So flatten all, and then we'll go to simplify and Oh, simplify, turn off, and turn it back on. Yeah, so it kind of did some stuff there. And it's cool that it actually puts the objects. They have, they have, um, Snagit also has some abilities to strip out the text that are in static images. So some of the really great features like that. At the end of the day, you're just making a screenshot. So you can copy and go to email and paste in, which most uh, 
people I know do, or you can save and you can just save as and save the file to your desktop. So with the um, uh, recording, so let's just record the screen here, go print screen. And then I'll say record. And I'll turn that off, go record. This is the one I made with Snagit. This is this one. And you'll notice here there's microphone and sound settings that you can do. You can take screenshots as you go. So let's just stop the video processing and you can play back the video. And let's say for example, um, at the end here, um, you don't want that last icon that we moved this one here. So how the cropping works is go right like this and you pull it out and then go cut and then you have your whole video where that last icon doesn't appear so that's the very simple cropping then you can save as and you're kind of good to go um, so yeah that's basically the two um, and um, they're very similar uh, snag it has great like is it worth fifty dollars you be the judge uh, if you want to get started with screen recording, it really breaks down barriers with um, sending things to people. Um, I know as a um, in in IT and application development, we're not when we're doing like bugs and stuff. We're not really looking for um, like someone to explain what happened. Uh, we just want the video, and then we'll look into it and then solve the problem. It really, you know, if they say a picture is worth a thousand words, then a video is worth like a thousand pictures right so it's exponentially better for these videos okay so next i'm going to break down ios and android and um, um i will put a bunch of uh links in the description of where to download these tools um and So I just walked through um, how in iOS you just pull down from the top, you hit that um, circle, red circle um, uh, button, and it'll start th the three, two, one, and you can move within the app and it will record. And then you just go back there to turn it off. Now for Android, I personally recommend using the screen recorder, no ads. Um, it, uh, very popular as you can see, and it's kind of more of the same you can do the photos and the recording, and then you can just move around to the different applications. So I will put um, a link to this in the description. And um, uh, thank you guys very much. I hope you found this video informative and helpful and just how to make, how to record your laptop screen uh, with audio on all platforms, uh, Mac, uh, iOS, Android, Linux, Windows, um, the whole gamut. Um, so if you found it helpful, that's absolutely great. Um, I try to post videos that only make technology easier and, uh, you know, make people's lives uh, easier. Um, so I hope you found that helpful and have a great day.